Hey folks, what's up? I want to ask the pro abortus a question. You see, a lot of the times, abort, uh, pro abortus like to bring up abortion in the case of rape. Let's say for the sake of argument, I were to agree and we would allow abortion in the case of rape. Then I have a question for you, pro abortus. How long do you think a woman should be able to get an abortion when she conceives in rape? Do you think she should be able to get it for four months? Six months, seven months, eight and a half months. Maybe you think she should be able to get the entire pregnancy. The reason why I ask this is because if you don't think she should be able to get an abortion the entire nine months of pregnancy when she conceives in rape, then you for are, <clears throat> excuse me, rather you are for imposing limits upon her choice in her conceiving in rape. How do you defend that? Because you're the same people who say that it's wrong for pro-lifers to stop a woman from exercising the right to get an abortion if she conceives in rape. But you are also for imposing limits if you are for banning abortion at any time she conceives in rape. Because here's the thing, the woman can deal with a number of different emotions. A woman can deal with all sorts of things when she conceives in rape. You know, she might be juggling with the idea of well, do I really want to have this child? So maybe she'll think about getting the abortion as soon as possible. Or maybe she'll have second thoughts and be like, well, I don't want to kill my baby. So maybe, you know, I'll have this child. But she decides to keep the child at first. But later down the road, you know, she's still dealing with that horrific incident that happened to her and juggling a child in the process. So a woman can be dealing with a lot of heavy emotions for a long time. Rape don't just go away in one day. For a lot of women, it don't go away at all. But that's the thing. If you really think abortion is justifiable in the case of rape, then you still have to answer the question, how long do you think she should be able to make that choice? If you think she should be able to make it the entire nine months of pregnancy, then you have the problem of trying to justify abortion, you know, later down the road. Do you think um, she should be able to decide what she wants to do when it gets to like six months and seven months and beyond? If you think so, then you got to throw out your viability argument too. You can't use viability as an argument. You can't fall back on that if you think she should be able to make that um, choice late term. Now, if you think she should not be able to make the choice the entire nine months, then again, you have to justify imposing limits upon her when she conceives in rape. How are you going to justify that? Because you are the same people who would um, fire back at pro-lifers and say, well, you are doing something immoral by trying to impose on her. When she conceived in rape, that's messed up. But you are doing the exact same thing if you think limits should be there. So, either you got to deal with the obvious problems of late-term pregnancy if you are for allowing her to get that decision the entire pregnancy, or you have to deal with violating the foundation of your own position. So, that's what you pro boards have to deal with. That's the important question. So, even when you try to justify abortion in the case of rape, you are not quite out the woods just yet. And I'll be more than interested to see what answers I get on this. So thank you all for watching. Please like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Take care. God bless. Peace.